This LOS is Describe Indices Representing Alternative Investments. Indices for Alternative Investments. So this is just a quote from a previous LOS that we saw. Practitioners distinguish between traditional investment markets and alternative investment markets, okay? And alternative investments include hedge funds, private equities, including venture capital, commodities, real estate securities, and real estate properties, securitized debts, operating leases, machinery, collectibles, and precious gems. So that was a quote from a previous slide, previous LOS. And at that point, I made the uh, important uh, note that with regards to the CFA, real estate securities, real estate properties is considered to be an alternative investment. And then I showed you a Wiley text where one of the authors is Frank Fabozzi that's done a lot of writing for the CFA, and real estate is listed as a traditional uh, investment in many countries. So I just wanted to be careful on that again, point it out, because when we're looking here in the CFA curriculum in terms of indices for alternative investments, we're looking in the section in the text is talking about commodity. So I showed you there's the S&P um, GICS uh, commodity index, which is a very popular one. Um, we've, but we're also going to look at some REITs and also the hedge funds. With regards to the commodity indices, just a quick uh, screenshot from the ebook. So I just want to point out that uh, commodity indices consist of future contracts on one or more uh, commodities, such as agricultural products, livestock, precious and common metals, and energy commodities. So it's important to note that although some commodity indices may include the same commodities, the returns on these indices may differ because each index may use a different weighting method. Because commodity indices do not have an obvious weighting mechanism, such as market capitalization, commodity index providers create their own weighting methods. Some indices, such as the Commodity Research Bureau, CRB index, contain a fixed number of commodities that are weighted equally. The S&P GSEI, we've seen that one, that's a very popular one, uses a combination of liquidity measures and world production values in its weighting scheme and allocates more weight to commodities that have risen in price. Other indices have fixed weights that are determined by a committee. So the different weighting methods can also lead to large differences in exposure to specific commodities. commodities. The S&P GSCI, for example, has approximately double the energy sector weighting and one-third of the agricultural sector weighting of the CRB index. These differences result in indices with very different risk and return profiles. Unlike commodity indices, broad equity and fixed income indices that target the same market share um, so, uh, share similar risk and return profiles. So what that's saying is, you know, we have the S&P 500 and we have, uh, say, a Wilshire index on 1,000. They're going to have uh, broadly, if it's a broad equity market, they're going to have largely the same uh, risk and return profiles. But when you get into the commodities, you need to be uh, very careful. And that's why I wanted to point out that section to the text. It's fairly important. I think that looking at that uh, section of text will make this uh, question fairly easy if you were uh, listening carefully. Commodity index values are based on A, futures contract prices, B, the market price of the specific commodity, or C, the average market price of a basket of similar commodities. The correct answer is A, commodity indices consist of futures contracts on one or more commodities. So just following up on that last practice question, that's the importance of reading very carefully. So you can see that was just from the first sentence, commodity indices. Commodity indices consist of futures contracts on one or more commodities. Another quick practice question, which of the following statements is most accurate? A, commodity indices all share similar weighting methods. B, commodity indices containing the same underlying commodities offer similar returns. Or C, the performance of commodity indices can be quite different from that of the underlying commodities. C is correct. The performance of commodity indices can be quite different from that of the underlying commodities because the indices consist of future contracts on the commodities rather than the actual commodities. And that's why I wanted to read that little section on the commodity indices because we indeed saw that they do not share similar weighting methods and uh, commodity indices containing the same underlying commodities uh, do not have the same returns and that was quite clear and it was highlighted. So as you can see questions are based on the text and if you do your reading it's uh, not that difficult. Quick practice question. A unique feature of hedge fund indices is that they A are frequently equal weighted, B 
are determined by the constituents of the index, or C, reflect the value of private rather than public investments? Okay, this is an interesting question. It's a good factoid. So B is correct. Hedge funds are not required to report their performance to any party other than their investors. Therefore, each hedge fund decides to which databases it will report its performance. Thus, for a hedge fund index, constituents determine the index rather than the index providers determining the constituents. That's one of the questions where you go, aha, I didn't know that. Now I do. And one last quick practice question. The returns of hedge funds indices are most likely A, biased upward, B, biased downward, or C, similar across different index providers. I think this question is not too difficult. A is correct. Because there's voluntary performance reporting, it may lead to a survivorship bias, which we've seen these terms before in other sections of the CFA and LOS. And poor performing hedge funds will be less likely to report their performance. So the returns of hedge fund indices are most likely biased upwards. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.